ever get so mad you could just spit? Well, that's what these guys are about to do. This is Spitlings. This is a game that I can most easily compare to a very old game called Super Buster Brothers. I am sure no one is old enough to remember that game other than me. But basically you run through things and you pop balloons and there's little stories. So as of right now, these are all the little Spitlings I've unlocked. They'll have wonderful little mouths or eyes, or this one looks like a whale. This one's a telephone. We're gonna play with the telephone. Uh, I've seen no difference between what item you use. Uh, you get two or three actions. You can jump and spit. As you notice, the keys on the telephone are disappearing as I spit. That's because you can only spit so many loogies at a time before you have to recharge. Uh, they do not disappear. So you can stick them to the ceiling, stick them to the floor, still be good to go. Along with that, if I hold down B, eventually you can recharge your spit just by being a cool little guy. I'm about 15 or 16 levels in at this point. Uh, the story mode is very basic, but there are comic book cutscenes that unlock as you go. Basically, monsters took over the little spit world, and we gotta kill the monsters and get our little spitty friends back. Uh, so these items like the square that's above me, these are the levels. You spin them once to open them up, you jump in, you're good to go. So the way this works is the white dots that are stuck in the walls, or the ceilings we'll call them, those are extra loogies. Uh, the parts on the floor that have a little divot to them, those are trampolines. And floors that have this light haze color, on them and on right now, you can spit through. You get touched, you die. That was stupid of me. I was only paying attention. So anyway, the way it works is every time you pop one of these bubbles, they split in half. Uh, there's usually two or three steps per spitting until you completely kill them. And this is kind of a puzzle-ish level. So I can see that the way this is really supposed to work is if I spit up top, it will knock the free loogies down. It will bounce around these little squares. It will kill more of these guys. I did all the work for me. So again. Spit until they split. Uh, also, when you defeat a... I guess we'll call them monsters, but they're just little blobs. Uh, they break into two more loogies that you can use. Get them. There we go. Look at these trick shots. Just rain down death upon these things. Uh, it is three little levels like this per world. They're usually themed in, we can call it style, or at least concept of level. But this one's obviously, hey, spit through the see-through blocks in order to kill the blobs. Mm, without. Uh, there's no actual jumping other than uh, using your spit to hop around, but there are these little swimmy, swimmy type, whatever you want to call them. I guess, I guess it's just slime in theory. Crap. But you can just use the controller like a normal person to go through those little slime tunnels. I believe it's called swimming in the lore of the game. Game lore plus achievement. Uh, listing kind of deal. But as you can see, it's not a it's not a super tough game. I would say this is more of a puzzler, puzzle game than it is a action platformy kind of thing. It's more about um, survival than anything else in the, at a base level. Along with that, there are time challenges after you beat a full run of three stages. Like three, straight, like three stages per level, three levels per floor, however you want to call it. So once you do all three, which I believe I just did, you come to this little special level right here. You see this thing, you say, oh my god, it's a square. You light it up. New spit buddy unlocked. And then all the ones you have plus him all get excited and run across the screen. I want to switch to him now. I can go up here, give him a tap, become a squid. So 
also with the customization, you can it's that one. You can also change the level colors. So if you look at the bottom right now, you can see the palettes. Let's see. You can kind of see the palettes I have unlocked. You all see what level I'm on with that. If I can do it, do, do, see how many, uh, see how many levels I'm at with the way the colors are. But with the down bottom left hand ish corner, there's a little white arrow that's pointing to this level. That means I can still have to unlock the theme for this area. This is one of those games where it's kind of hard to talk while you're thinking about trying to like aim, bounce, jump, spit blob, whatever's gonna call these little loogies. Aim and loogies and trying to speak. Not the easiest thing. So for this one, we're gonna try to light it up real quick. We're trying to make a little wall so they can't get through. All right, takes care of the harder part. Actually, this is probably the harder part. It's always funny, y'all, with this all the way when all the colors are going here. I have a shield. Okay, keep taking each other out, that's fine. I'll just let this go, let that finish. Maybe I'm about high enough. Okay, just last part off. Nope. So you can probably kind of see on the octopus face, squid face, whatever you're gonna call him. As he runs out of spit, his eyes drain. So for some of them, um, at least visually, it's easier to tell when you're running out of shots than others. Like it'd be it's harder for me, at least me personally, to see that the squid eyes are almost empty versus like the telephone one, where the number pad is slowly disappearing as you go. All right, so then when we hit these things, it'll give us extra loogies. Fire! 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 Another whalish looking guy. New theme unlocked. You probably unlock a theme for doing something special on the level. I have not noticed what it is, especially if I haven't unlocked all of them as I went. But that's a me issue. Like lots of things, it's a me issue. Oh, that was a sniper move right there. Until the things drop, then we'll get some more. Maybe it's, Maybe it's if you don't die, you unlock the game. Because I definitely died on this one. I don't think I died on that last one. So as you can see by my multitude of deaths already, and with the gameplay in general, uh, not the hardest game to play. Uh, challenging if you try to rush through or try to act stupid like I do. It's a pretty calm, puzzly, 
platformery kind of thing, as we said before. We're gonna get some spit back here. Make a sacrifice move there. Getting entirely too close, and I keep missing. There we go. Shark face. The lobster. Cl cl crabby claw hand kind of dude. So at this point, we we'll call it, we finished a level. The level's worth a level, so now we drop down to the next floor, and the adventure continues. So that is the main part of this game. There's also party modes that, since it is just me, I'm not 100% sure this will work, but we'll give it a try. Okay, so this is just if you have friends, let's go to the now. And now, go for multiplayer. Again, we will, I will test it. I'm not sure if this will work. Uh, the game is still being developed. As you see, they're working on a level editor and some other stuff. We'll find people. Let's find out. No, I don't think... Maybe it doesn't work that way. Maybe if I join, like, multiplayer, it would work. Or join story mode. I might not have enough patience, patience for it. Um, it is a newer game, like I said, so I don't know if there's a ton of people playing online right now as I'm recording this. But you get the idea. This is Spitlings. It's a very simple, but challenging, good, frustrating, uh, puzzle-y game. Uh, these are the comics you unlock as you go. Which gives you the hot spitling lore. They're upset. The world is being attacked. Deep. <laughs> There you go. Uh, thanks for watching the video. If you think this game looks interesting, it is out now. Feel free to pick it up, and I'll see you next time for more spitting fun. Waits.